just decided I'm going to go launch a product that makes water taste better without sweeteners in it. And how hard could it be? Yeah. And that was how Hint began 16 years ago. And, you know, you mentioned my book. I, I've talked so much along the way about how people have said to me, you must be fearless. Like, how are you willing to take the risk? You have to understand when I had this idea, as I said, I had three kids under four, but then I got pregnant with my fourth. So by the time I birthed Hint, I was not the profile of an entrepreneur that you thought was going to be able to pull this thing off because I had four kids under the age of six, right? I'm like living in San Francisco. I'm known as a tech executive, not as a beverage executive. And right. I just figured like people would say to me, well, like what happens if you fail? And I was like, I can always go back and work in tech. I would just tell people about this crazy thing that happened. And if nothing else, I'd be an entertaining guest at a dinner, right? Like I just thought it was hysterical. And I look back on those, you know, stories as ones where I felt like just by sharing those stories with entrepreneurs and different audiences and my life journey is it, they weren't funny when I was living it, right? right? It was hard. And, but then when I look back that I can really share those and help people know that you can do it too. It yeah. wasn't perfect. I had failures. I had fears along the way. I guess I was resilient. I guess I took risks, but that's not what I sat there and said I was going to do every single day. What I did say was that I was going to try. And that was like, and I never allowed that wall around me to get too big. Instead, right. I, when I found that if I feared something, I would allow my curiosity to really lead and eventually crumble those fears.